I'm going to share with you what I bought. I bought this from a friend of mine who is leaving town. He's moving somewhere else. He's also a thrifter that he's bought these items over the years. However, he's, he already left. He left yesterday and sold me all of this right here for $200. So that's exactly what I paid for it. I have an idea of what's in a few of these bags. I'm going to go through them. And I'm going to share with you. I have no idea what's in that big Marlboro bag bag but there's a lot of treasures here and I'll share that with you. Let's begin with the hats since there's so much stuff. There's a vintage ESPN cap. He has all these price tags but I'm going to take those off. Cowboys fitted. I'm keeping this from Los Angeles Kings. Look at that beauty. I don't even wear caps. TCU uh, Miami Heat. As a Dodgers fan, these are our rivals here, but this is still a beautiful hat. Vintage 49ers, two of them. This one's corduroy. Extreme Sports, ESPN. Vintage San Antonio Spurs. And then here are two Minnesota Wild caps. Five Notre Dame vintage hats that I'll sell to, all together. This right here. And the last are these two Nike, kind of like Kango sort of stand, golf. Here are the first round of shirts. I'm probably gonna keep this Barry Manilow 1980 World Tour. I really like this, I tried it on already and uh, love it. Here is a Mothers Against Drunk Drivers Cool graphics here. Does not have the year. It's a large. 1986 Harley Davidson. Never in the shadows. There's the year right there. Fort Collins. John's Harley Davidson. Here's a vintage Marlboro pocket t shirt. Simple, missing the size tag. 1993 Colorado Rockies. Cool shirt jersey. Denver Broncos with John Elway and Brett Favre, Super Bowl 32. It does have a little blemish there, Pro Players, the brand, 1998. Pittsburgh Steelers, it's, it's an older shirt, nothing really special, but it's cool to have. Again, all of this will be for sale, or most of it. I really like this. Siegfried and Roy at the Mirage with their Tigers, double-sided. Here's a, a small Weird Al Yankovic running with scissors tour shirt. I looked at it, it's from 2000. Nothing beats a Hummer. Not sure what this was until I saw the back here. This should be a, a Warthog aircraft, if I'm not mistaken, from 2001. Here is a Masters small vest. Didn't know what this one, but this is a band. And it says they perched, I already looked them up, so now I have an idea of what it is. Vintage Mickey Unlimited Goofy tank top. Grave Digger, great graphics, Monster Jam. It is, this is the back side of it. This is the front. Bad to the Bone, Grave Digger Race Team. The only reason I'm going to keep this as opposed to turn it into the thrift shop is because it's a vintage or older Quicksilver shirt. I do like Quicksilver. And this one's just a little bit older version, so I'll see if it sells. This is the back, the good, the bad, the big. And it's Big Dogs. If it only had this graphic in the front and nothing on the back, I would get rid of it. Don't know what this is, so this may be custom here. It's very 1980s, but I like the back. It says, being sexy is a tough job, but somebody has to do it. This is a Florida State Vintage Seminoles shirt. Super Bowl Broncos champions, Super Bowl 33. I loved Barney. 
And what's interesting is this is 1994, and it says here the official licensed product World Pog Federation. Do you remember the Pogs in the 90s, early 2000s? Beijing 2008 Panda. It's long sleeve, interesting. ICP and Saint Clown Posse shirt. Great graphics. Double sided. This is a vintage camel, surrogate cigarettes brand, XL. I do like it because it has that graphic in the back. Reggae on the rocks. And what I like about this is. It is Red Rocks, Colorado, 1998. Vintage. Alpha Kappa Psi, we mean business. Shark. I'll have to look up where that is uh, or if it's various universities. This is a nice big graphic liquid blue. Native American. And here's the back side. So this is a cool piece. I love the graphics here with the eagle. Vintage Denver Broncos. When I looked at this, I'm thinking it's not special, but what makes it special are these huge patches on the shoulders. Journey Tour 2017, double-sided. Common shirt, but it is cool to have. This is a Women's Columbia medium jacket I'll put on Marketplace. Illinium, didn't know what this was, so I looked it up. DJ, made in the USA. Nothing on the back. And then the last piece for this round is the Broadmoor 1990. Broadmoor is a beautiful five star resort hotel here in Colorado Springs. Here is the next group Kirk and Spock 96, Leadership for the Future from 1995. Of course, this is Star Trek. It's a cool piece. Never seen anything like it. It has a lot of fuzzies, but somebody will still buy it. Look at this beautiful Patagonia wool sweater, large. I'm keeping this one. Love it. I already tried it on. Simple Patagonia, my favorite brand. Nobody's Perfect Vintage Jerseys Medium. UC Davis. The only reason I would consider to sell this is because it is an older. It's Russell, and it has cool graphic right there. This is the end. Not too familiar with this brand. I've seen it. If you know the brand, let me know. It's got this little guy up here. Uh, I just don't know the name of it. And here, what's the name of this? I have to find out. I, I see it all the time. <clears throat> Here's a Wrangler Pro Snap shirt. This is an older looking, it's kind of, uh, it's all cotton. Chaps, Ralph Lauren. I like the graphics, so it is worth trying to sell that. Shout out to Michael out there in California off the I-10. Look at this. I already tried it on. It's vintage Los Angeles Lakers. Logo Athletic. Beautiful. Look at that. This is Isles of Scilly. I, I hope I pronounced that right. I had no idea what this is, so I looked it up, and these are some islands off the coast of England. Very nice graphic. Berg's. I guess Berg's is the brand. Nice Pendleton shirt here. Look at this vintage style gap. It's denim. Plaid. Shows some wear. I think somebody's going to love this shirt. And it's just the denim on the back. Golden State Warriors. The only reason I'm going to try to sell this is because it's in great condition. It is a Mitchell Ness. It is a good size large. NBA logo, Jerry West. Rugby style shirt, Retro Varsity, Izod. It, it, very nice. I like it. I may even keep it for myself if it fits. Nike order style jacket with the logo. And then this silk or satin, I'm not sure what it is. Vicenza, Naples, Italy. Soccer or 
football, as they call it. Here is a, an older Columbia jacket with these beautiful, vibrant colors. Portland, Oregon. Western State, Colorado, Gunnison. He had a few of these bicycle or cycling shirts. Usually I wouldn't buy them, but I'm gonna give it a, a shot. Breckenridge, Colorado. Amber Beer. Marshall Falk, St. Louis Rams. I'm keeping this. Love the Rams. Vintage John Elway, Wilson. What makes it is this beautiful tag. I forgot this guy's name, it's, it's here. Uh, what is it? Super Grover. Pearl Izumi, I guess it's cycling stuff. Imperial La Cerveza de Costa Rica. So these again are biker uh, or cycling. Texas Christian University, TCU. Pittsburgh Steelers, Poncho, big, big thing. And then we get into some pants, hunting pants. Obermeyer, these are brand new, XL. I believe they're women XL with the tags. And I'll try to sell this on Marketplace locally for a good price. Vintage Ralph Lauren wool dog turtleneck sweater. Women's North Face pants or shorts. And a women's skirt by the good brand of Pendleton. Here are the shoes, brand new Uggs. These are really cool, vintage Sorel. I may keep these for my property. Chaco. Women's Prada, official, made in Italy. Ariat boots. And check out these Kobe Bryant, brand new Kobe Bean Bryant. Most likely issued for a university. Nike. Jeff Gordon. It's a bag. It, to me, it looks like it's a, a pool stick bag. Here's the thing from 2001. And then I had stuff that I didn't want that I'm giving away, turning into a thrift shop. Like I said, I spent $200 for all of this stuff. That I'm keeping to resell, and those are all the hats. The last piece is a team-issued Denver Nuggets Adidas 3XL warm-up jacket. I forgot about this because I had already hung it up, but uh, it's a very cool piece. The logo, again, team-issued.